Hey guys, welcome back to the NFA Review Channel. Today we're going to take an up close look at the M762 by DRD Tactical. Many of you already know about DRD Tactical. You watched the Paratus video that we did. If you haven't seen it, go ahead and click the link and take a look at that rifle. But today we're going to get into the technical breakdown on the M762. Like the entire DRD lineup, the M762 ships in a hard case. It comes complete with two 20 round magazines, a barrel assembly with handguard, and the upper and the lower. And below, you have custom cut foam with a slow of magazines, a suppressor cutout, and a handgun. Perfect for a grab and go kit. The M762 is chambered in 762 by 51 NATO. It is a direct gas impingement rifle, semi-automatic. The upper and lower receiver is machined from 6061 billet aluminum. The barrel comes in at 16 inches. It's cold, cold hammer forged, chrome lined, and it has a 1 in 12 twist. It is actually manufactured by FN. The bolt carrier group is coated in nickel boron. Fully assembled, it weighs in at 8.7 pounds, and all this for a retail price of $32.50. Assembly is very straightforward and simple. Loosen the latch on the handguard, pull up the barrel nut retaining pin, and then the barrel will slide right out. This is how it's packaged in your uh, case. Then what you want to do is remove the optional gas tube protector. And that just keeps your gas tube from getting bent while in transit. You don't really need to use it, but we do. And then once that is off, you can insert this whole assembly into the upper. With the bolt locked to the rear and the safety engaged, slide the tube and barrel in, verifying that the notch is in the cutout on the receiver, and then you can torque down your barrel nut. You do not need to use a wrench to tighten this, although it does ship with one. Just give it a good hand snug. Then slide the hand guard over the barrel, lining up the notch with the receiver, push in the barrel nut retaining pin and the lever, and you're good to go. We're gonna go ahead and throw an optic on this and go ahead and get shooting. What we are gonna do today is we received some feedback from the Paratus video that you guys wanted to see uh, repeat, repeatability when we take the barrel on and off. So we're gonna go shoot a 100 yard group, take the barrel off, reinstall it, and shoot another group to show that it can maintain accuracy. All right, let's get shooting. All right, we're gonna be using the PFI 3 to 12 by 42, and we're gonna send some rounds out to 400. All right, we just shot the 100 yard group and now we're going to take off the barrel and then put it back on. Uh, we're using the spec rest here. I'm gonna try to balance this. Boom. We're using the spec, uh, spec rest here to keep everything, you know, level playing field so it takes out the shooter's air. Okay, barrel's off. Put it back on here. Give it a good tighten, just like I did earlier. Put the handguard back on. like that all right that simulates taking it apart and going shooting again let's get everything back where it was all right let's shoot another group All right, ready for the third group. We take it off again. Put 
for a total of three times for four groups. Barrel's off. Back on. We shoot another three rounds. All right. I felt that one pull, that's my fault. That is my fault. All right, there's the third group. All right, and now for the fourth and final group. I'll take this sucker off one more time. You're good at it now, huh? Barrel out loose. Barrel's off. Woo, barrel's getting hot. It's getting hot. All right. Cinch it down nice and tight. Hand tight all four times. All right. Group four. Nice. Very nice. It's definitely holding group. Well, I hope you enjoyed the review. This is a really neat rifle. As you can see, it did maintain groupings when we uh, uninstalled and reinstalled the barrel four times. Um, very compact rifle, easy to pack and go. Packs a lot of punch for the money. Um, so definitely go check out the DRD website. Uh, we are going to be reviewing two more DRD tactical rifles. The CDR-15 with the 300 blackout conversion barrel and the very powerful 338 Lapua, the Kavari. So stay tuned for that. Speaking of staying tuned, I have a new channel now on full30.com. Go subscribe there as well as YouTube and follow along on Facebook and Instagram. See you next time.